Welcome to the webinar. Today, we'll be looking at artificial intelligence in Scopito, specifically a new workflow for creating your own algorithm. If you have any questions, please write them in the chat. We'll be sure to answer all of your questions either during the presentation or at the end of it. Ken and Danny will be presenting to you today. Welcome. We have the filters at the top, so I could say, well, I'm only interested in lightning strikes, and then suddenly I'm looking only at lightning strikes. I could say, I'm only interested in severity five issues across all my issue types. And then I can go check them out. And once I have the right filters and I'm happy with that, I can just go ahead and generate a report. So instead of manually creating Word reports, I just press this one and I get a nice formatted PDF where I can add a summary and I get all, this is the annotation I just made you saw, um, saying loose ball zero to five, but this is basically the document you can hand to your maintenance crew so they can go fix it. We have a lot of stuff about um, access management and analysis management. I won't go into detail with that for now. If you have questions about the product, you can yeah, check out our website or create a trial. So I think uh, that's just a brief introduction. I can tell you that we have about more than 4,000 or well, probably close to 5,000 companies globally today uh, who's signed up for the platform. And we have eight employees in three countries and we have an office in Denmark and an office in New York currently. I think I'll hand it over to Danny uh, to introduce what we're doing today on the analysis side. Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Danny Feller. Uh, with Scopito since 2017, when the platform became commercially available, I'm uh, the head of sales here in uh, Scopito. And uh, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, how do we uh, do the analysis today? What uh, level of uh, automation do we have? Where do we see it going? And right when I'm done, uh, feel free to write and type any questions if you have. Uh, when I'm done, we will show our uh, beta feature, which we are, well, <laughs> which we gathered all for. Um, so today, almost all uh, analysis, almost, I would even say 99.9% .9 of all analysis is uh, manual in Scopito today. It's done by subject matter experts. Um, there is a very low uh, amount of usage of AI. It is uh, mostly for uh, well, our subject matter experts' internal use, and it is um, saving uh, some time. It's still not there where we can uh, make it commercially available, but uh, we are moving towards that. We have seen uh, throughout the years many companies claiming for full analysis, uh, full automation, 100%, but we have never seen results to uh, actually back those claims. If you guys know of anything, anyone who is uh, willing to share, we are more than happy to, to see what's out there. Eventually, Scopito is here to allow uh, the market become better, stronger together. Um, so. That's also something that we will show afterwards uh, that we have thought into the product, the ability to include your own uh, algorithms if you have anything that's worth uh, sharing. The purpose of the workflow is to allow all of Scopito's users to build uh, your own custom uh, analysis algorithms uh, without being necessarily um, uh, spending a lot of resources, both time and money, with the uh, AI uh, experts, if you will. Um, you'll see in a few minutes uh, how this is done based on your current workflow uh, of annotating images in Scopito. As of today, this platform is just a proof of concept. It is uh, 
the aim of it uh, is uh, the aim of us showing it to you today is to gather feedback to get the the level of interest that you guys have in the solution and of course to learn from you if you see something that uh, could be relevant or bring value to you your company your your uh, market or your clients um, it is not working as it is um, uh, i mean it's not automated sorry um, to the level where everybody can use it uh, out of the box, but it is working and we will show how a solution looks like when an algorithm has been trained and uh, deployed in Scopino. Um, we hope that you find this uh, capability interesting. We, as of now, are not sure about the price of this uh, capability. We know it's a big question mark for all of you. Uh, and we will get there. For now, we are certain of two things. The outcome uh, of this uh, feature is to increase the productivity while reducing the analysis costs. And that is uh, that's something that we are uh, uh, certain about, as I mentioned before. So today we would look uh, at uh, the workflow that uh, we will bring right up. I'll shoot it over to Ken, but I would like to uh, ask if anyone have any question right now. So without uh, further ado, Ken, will you uh, share your screen and show what we've been working on? Yes. Let me share my screen here. So as Danny mentioned, this is a proof of concept, but it is all functional. It's not fully automated yet. and. What we want is the feedback from the markets, um, how valuable is this for your business? Um, and we believe that if we have interest, we can have this released in the first version uh, before the end of this year. So I'm signing in here. This is part of the AI workflow, so it doesn't look like normal Scoopizo, but um, yeah, I'll explain as we go. So the first thing you do is you define a new AI model. Right here, someone already said Ken's awesome model. So I'll just uh, follow that. And let's say we'll build a um, roof tile, a broken roof tile uh, detector. And at the bottom here, Right now, it's the Scopito AI um, you're integrating with, but as we truly believe in an open platform, we will make an API so you could integrate with other AI providers. So you already had an AI partner, wanted to work exclusively with IBM or Azure, then you could integrate that here as well. I'm pressing next. So. This is our demo account, um, so there's not so much data, but some of you who are in the platform, you would know you have a lot of data uh, and it could go back years. Um, you can see your inspection name, the company that would be your company it belongs to or your clients. You can see the image count and the number of annotations, which is pretty important because that is a pretty, you know, you need a lot of examples uh, to do AI or at least very specific type of annotations. So I'll go ahead and just select a roof inspection. I could just select all my inspection data if I wanted to build an algorithm across all my data. So I'll press next here. Now I can see the inspection that I chose. And together with that, I can see all the issue types that were marked out by subject matter experts. So if I go ahead and say broken roof tiles, then I'll get all the examples of broken roof tiles from my data. And so you can see, I can just scroll through these example. If there's something that's very bad or not really a broken roof tile, I can actually omit it from the training set. But once I'm happy with that, I basically just press the train button. And then instead of spending months uh, trying to develop AI, you will actually get a functional algorithm typically within two hours. And of course, the output will vary depending on the input data, but 
what we see as a really strong point here is that you are in control of this and the feedback loop is extremely fast. So within a couple of hours, you'll actually know if you have good enough data, if you need to change it, you can change it. And within a couple of hours, you would again know if that made the algorithm accurate enough. Um, and so you could imagine if you had a lot of data, you could build it on those types of uh, uh, faults that you're looking for. So if I also have some worn sections here, you can see so that they look slightly different and I could build an algorithm on that. I have my severity levels out here as well, uh, as you would know from Scupito. So I could say I'm looking for one section, but it has to be severity three um, and then you would only get that. Um, so the filters work as normal, but again, you would just press train and within a couple of hours, you would have a working algorithm uh, inside Scopito. Maybe I can just jump really quick here. Can you, you have shown uh, severity three and which we only saw three annotations uh, to create a, an AI. We obviously need a, a minimum number of annotations. Um, it's, it's not a high number. We are actually not, not looking at hundreds or thousands uh, as we've heard uh, in the industry before, uh, merely a few dozens uh, or even less sometimes would be enough uh, to actually create uh, a functional algorithm. Yeah, so, so Danny has a very good point on the number or the amount of data needed because typically what we hear in the industry is you need vast amount of data to have something functional. And we did quite a lot of testing with this um, uh, automated training and um, what we could see is in some cases we needed a lot of data especially when it was from different type of uh, different inspections from different locations but some of the best results we saw was um, that was actually from a solar inspection where we did well I analyzed only 15 images of one inspection and it was from those 15 images, it was able to find about 90% of all the faults for that inspection. Um, and that's because we were used, uh, that inspection was done with a specific drone, with a specific camera at a specific angle and a specific altitude, which would be generally the case if you're doing one inspection um, or if you are in control of the inspection. So it's, it's very interesting that if you have specific data, you can actually get some pretty reliable stuff done with very little data. Um, and the opposite of that would be have a lot of data from a lot of inspections where you would need um, a lot more data. I can go ahead and show you how this model once it's been trained would look in Scopito. So those of you who know Scopito, I'll just go ahead and bring up a solar inspection. So as you see on the map here, they're all blue, which indicates that there are no issues uh, currently. Um, there's nothing tagged, but you can, from the thumbnails, you can see that you do have issues here. There's a diode, but there's nothing marked here. So what you would go ahead and do is press the analyze button. Then under AI analysis, the model you had just trained would become available here. And you just press submit inspection. And it basically goes into a queue and the AI starts looking through these images. And any um, images going through this algorithm would basically be the same if it was a human annotating it or if it was uh, a computer. And right now this is in a queue and there's, it seems like there's some other data in the queue. So I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is when the AI has analyzed it and you can see now we have a lot of red dots showing that we have issues. And if I click one of these images, you'll see that uh, it has been marked out with a hotspot here and uh, multiple hotspots on this one. I have my filters as normal, so I can say I just want diode issues. And once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and generate my report. 
So that's sort of the workflow we envision that you go ahead and train on the data you have or import the data, but we're basically getting this feedback loop extremely fast. So not trying to, you know, we've heard of a lot of companies partnering up with AI companies and they need typically three to six months and a lot of money to hopefully get you to a reliable algorithm. Uh, and this way it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, we give you the power uh, to build these algorithms and get the feedback very quickly. Um, and just wrapping things up from our end, this is our vision of it. We really want to, our mission is to enable the drone industry and we feel what is needed is putting more power in the hands of our clients. So having this data and just being able to press train within very few hours, you would have a working algorithm. And of course we cannot guarantee that the accuracy of it, but we can guarantee that you get this feedback loop very quickly. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I think that's the wrap up and uh, I know it was not that long, but uh, we like to get to the point. So uh, yeah, we hope it was interesting for you and uh, please uh, do get in touch with us. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.